Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And so most of you may have already seen the features that came from the state of the Unreal Engine. But one thing that really caught my attention was uh, this uh, segment with uh, Captain America and the ML machine learning deformer from the Unreal Engine. And so this is uh, uh, the uniform that Captain America is wearing in this game. Uh, it's called 1943 Rise of Hydra. And look at how well the cloth is being simulated you know, around the butt cheeks <laughs> and you can see the folds, right? So according to the panel that was being interviewed, they used the uh, Houdini uh, to first of all do the simulation of the cloth and then import that cloth into, I mean, the simulation into the Unreal Engine uh, 5.4 in this case, that then was used to train the cloth system for this character. And which means that, uh, you know, how in ZBrush we, uh, we tend to put in all the details, all the folds and everything. Well, you don't have to do that if you're using the ML deformer and the machine learning deformer because that simulation is able to, t to take into consideration what lies underneath. And the first time I encountered the ML deformer was back in about 10 months ago. And what I did was uh, I had this test that I did. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I wanted to see how well, you know, it could work with other kinds of uh, animation, right? And so with this scene, you can see how the cloth is working like around the hip area right here. And, and then so the bulging of the muscles. Now, one of the tech leads, I think someone from Epic Games, came onto the chat uh, in one of the comments and said that there are some things that I probably didn't do very well because, you know, some of the muscles weren't deforming properly, right? So as the characters are fighting, I really wanted to see how this was working. So this this was just a test that comes from the Epic Games. Uh, this is uh, from the sample, the ML uh, deformer sample. And you can see how they have like muscle like t uh, definition underneath, right? And also the ability to make the cloth deform according to what's underneath the, the muscle definition. And that sample scene can be found on the launcher, Epic Games launcher under ML Deformer. But the first test that I did, I mean, of course, I, I encountered some issues because I didn't, uh, I don't think I retargeted the, the rig really well, the mockup that came in. And so in 5.4, they've done a really amazing thing where it's much easier now to import any kind of mock-up and then you're able to retarget it. So I'm going to reapproach this video again and see how it does in 5.4. Although I know right now, like the it, the project itself, I don't think is available for 5.4 yet. It's, uh, it says 5.2 to 5.3. So I'm, ho I'm looking forward to when they update this. But my test is when I did this, I was like, when are we going to see this technology used uh, in like in a game or somewhere where it's actually being showcasing like the actual actual cloth and on right top and right. i think in this game rise of a uh, hydra uh, with captain america you can see the technology now employed and then actually let me put this turn this on you can see the cloth as the captain is walking the captain character is walking how it deforming so yes there is some um, uh, like sculpting that happened here, but you can see how much better the ML deformer is able to calculate the muscles that are underneath. And you can see the definition of the character as he's walking, right? And as I, let me take this one off so you can see the full character. So this is uh, exciting to me. And they, since this is an, a meta human, it's even more exciting. So I really want to get into this and see how well I can use my own characters. And uh, of course, it seems like I'm going to have to learn Houdini <laughs> so I can actually do some simulation. This is not like a, an out of the box uh, like solution. You really have to uh, simulate and also uh, make give Unreal Engine uh, the chance to learn from the deformation of your character and the cloth system. So that's why I think they went through Houdini to be able to simulate the clothing. So it seems like you have to first send your character to Houdini and be able to then simulate the cloth or whatever uh, uniform or dress or whatever your character is wearing, then bring that information into the Unreal Engine so that then Unreal Engine can learn from that deformation and then apply the data onto your character in the Unreal Engine 
to be able to simulate this in real time. Because this uh, simulation that I, I did, this particular, this particular test. test that I did right here, this was in real time in the Unreal Engine. And that's why you can actually see the cloth. Even though it has some issues, you can see how the cloth is actually responding to the muscle, muscles underneath, right? So anyway, this is what I wanted you to show you guys. And uh, to talk about a little bit of uh, how this technology is moving forward in, in the Unreal Engine 5.4. And to see a team that is actually using this technology in uh, a game. I know this game is coming out in 2025. So who knows, maybe between now and then, even more improvements would have been made in the MLD former. And maybe we won't have to maybe use Houdini. Maybe all this will be done in engine within the Unreal Engine, maybe in 6.0, in the Unreal Engine 6, that it will all be native. But as of the recording of this video, this is the first time that I've seen the ML Deformer used extensively in a game and for Captain America. And I think they also used it on the Black Panther, but more, this is the demo that I saw that really, really took advantage of uh, this uh, ML Deformer to see the clothing. I mean, you can feel the type of like cloth system that was created, whether the, it's uh, the fabric, you know, type, whether it's uh, like uh, khaki or, you know, it, it's staying true to that. You can see that, right? And I mean, you can still see the sculpting that they put in, in terms of the model. So those you still have to do, I think, to give the character some nice defi uh, like uh, definition. But overall, if you want to simulate and show the cloth system responding, you can see it, uh, you can use the MLD form and then the machine learning. And I think this is where I mean, they call it machine learning. They don't call it artificial intelligence, but I think underneath all that is definitely AI working, right? It's the, the computer or the system learning and then applying that uh, le those lessons learned to a system learning what how cloths, uh, cloth kind of uh, deforms on a given body whether if, the, if, for example, Captain America had been like skinny character, you would have seen that uh, deformation playing out on the muscle of that thin character because uh, Captain America doesn't start off as buff and strong like that. He takes this, you know, serum that makes him like a super soldier. So I'm excited to see this get out into the marketplace. And uh, for me, I want to try it. That's the thing. As I want to learn how to try it. And the one thing that I've found is that if you go, you to, go the, to the dev uh, channel on the Unreal Engine, if you go to the dev channel on the unrealengine.com, you can see there's a tutorial here on how to use the machine learning deformer. And they walk you through the different steps and you need to install that plugin, the ML deformer framework plugin. And then you can go through and start, first of all, get the sample project. They, uh, they recommend that. You can download that in that link that I showed you in the an RP Games launcher. And then you go through and they walk you through how to use it all the way down. You it looks like you need to have Maya. So if you're an indie film studio, maybe you have to get that uh, almost what 265 to almost $300 a year that you can pay for that license and be able to use this. But I think it's worth it if you're going to get that kind of quality so far. Again, as of the recording of this video, I can only see 5.3 as the highest and there's 5.0 at the bottom. So even the project itself, it's not available for 5.4 just yet. So hopefully, you know, we will get more insight and hopefully this will be updated. But you can still try this out in Unreal Engine 5.3 and then migrate that to 5.4 to maybe render using the updated Lumen settings. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> Again, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. But what an amazing time to be alive, you know. Uh, MLD former, you know, the new chaos uh, system that they have implemented in the UEFN and then to see this uh, MLD former in uh, 5.4, 5.3 is amazing. So stay blessed, guys. Dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream. As always, always, I'm praying for you. Please uh, stay focused on uh, this creative journey. It's not it's challenging right now in this age of AI, but I believe we can continue still to use this technology to tell our stories. As always, stay blessed. Much love to you all. Bye for now.